What is up everyone? Welcome back to Garage. Today we're going to be starting off a new series because we have this awesome Mark 1 Rabbit pickup in the garage today. You may recognize it because we did share it a few times, probably a few months ago and then again a few years ago. It hasn't been here too much, but the first time it was here, we did a 12 volt VR6 swap on it and now it's been through a few changes. The owner's been driving it around and now I think he decided that the 12 volt VR6 wasn't enough. So now he's going to want something with a little bit more power. This is the engine is going to be going into the 3.2, uh, it's actually a 3.2 motor, 24 valves, it's going into the NK1 Cuddy. We're going to be installing a new clutch, stage 1 clutch daily from South Bend, and we're going to be removing the AC compressor and the power steering delete. So let's get this thing going. AC compressor and the power steering pump are out and while the engine was out we decided to take the clutch out as well since the one that I had wasn't good anymore and this is going to be the one that the owner is going to be running now a south bend clutch we're going to do a quick unboxing oh yes we have run this clutch for a long time and we always happy with them they're a bit pricey but it's always what you get what you pay for Oh, the clutches. This is the flywheel, brand new flywheel, brand new bolt. Lightweight or not? I can't remember. Uh, it doesn't looks like looks like OEM. But regardless, he's not. He's not gonna be drag racing it. But he just wants to have fun and more power in the. He just likes the sounds of the VR6s in general, but obviously the 24 volts sounds a lot better. Okay. This is the one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pressure plate and the clutch. There's the disc. Stage one daily. That's what it is. Should be more than enough to hold down the power. Yeah, that's enough what's going in we should be able to put the, the transmission up again the transmission too he already had the o2j shifter tower he already had the the clutch conversion which you were you this was already in the with the 12 valve vr6 and uh again your wise provide us with this billet clutch instead of just going with the regular uh out of uh those band, I forget what they're called. Eurovans. The Eurovans, uh, that's how they have the clutch conversion with the hydraulic, but those seems like a little cheaper version. So obviously Eurowise makes this billet, which is nice and solid. So that's what we're running. That's what he had, and we had no problems with it. So we're sticking with the same stuff. Yeah. And uh, you wanna show him the mounts that we have installed from Eurowise as well? Here's the rear mount from Eurowise and the other ones are in the back the other of the one, truck the other one's supposed to be in the transmission one is already in the transmission which is this one well, the transmission this has two here. remember one on the bottom the bottom one is over there the one on the top and we have the crossbar too which is right there that's the one for the front and the bottom one should be in this box somewhere, somewhere in this box and we will show you later the with the process we're gonna be doing the VR6 uh, pen as well from Eurowise, the short version. So it doesn't bust it up. So it's gonna be a short pen. And, and uh, well, he might be going with bags too, so. He might. It's gonna he help might. a lot. Might going with, with bags. the clearance. I mean, we, we're talking about it. Maybe we can work something out with him uh, 
this our painter for those of you know that don't know he's the one who paints all, all our cars and uh he does a great work so we're thinking maybe maybe we'll see it's up in the air we might do something with our cabrio since there's few scratches but i don't know i don't know exactly like if i want to go in that route all the way all right guys so now the clutch is installed new flywheel we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the transmission in transmission on the front motor mount is on we installed this gauge uh, gauge sender unit for the oil pressure which which is gonna make sure we have the uh, oil pressure uh, sensor with the gauge and oil um, water temperature gauge as well and uh, bolts um, gauge that's what we usually do just to keep track and uh, oil oil pressure and an extra uh, water uh, temperature sensor just to make sure you know everything is running the way it should be this motor is ready to go in since we have the starter on the front motor mount on on transmission mount is on rear mount is on so we should be ready to put this motor up in the truck tomorrow uh so i guess take thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video peace